Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're talking about the parse URL function in PHP and specifically how it can behave kind of in a way you might not expect. Um, this all came about because I was talking to IPSEC after recording, well, after doing my uh, write-up for encoding, and something worked for him that didn't work for me, and we did a little troubleshooting, and I thought that might be interesting to show. Um, so no intro today, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Uh, I've got this URI, URI, or API right here on hacks tables. And if I hit this endpoint and I give it an action, um, you can convert strings to hex or to binary or to base64 encoded, et cetera. Uh, and then you either give it data or you can give it a URL to get some data from. And so I'm interested obviously in the one where I give it a URL because I'm trying to do some sort of SSRF here, server-side request forgery. Um, I'm not able to access image.hackstables.htb from my host. If I try to access it, I just get nothing. It's blocked um, by Apache. It only is limited to localhost. So if I can access it here, even if I convert it to hex, I can always convert it back, um, that'd be a win. I'd access something I'm not supposed to. Um, so if I send this request and I look at the response, it comes back as JSON, I get unacceptable URL. Um, and this, this is true for, um, you know, not just, not just uh, images, but if I try to get like, um, say local host here and look at the response, same thing, unacceptable URL. Um, now the difference in what Ip was doing, what I was doing is uh, he, uh, didn't have the HTTP here. And I thought, well, how can this, how can this make a difference? But it, it did. If we'll look here and we can do the concept JSON right at the end. So we get one line and boom, we've got data. Uh, we could, if we want to encode this, just, you know, show that that works real quick. We can do response.json and we can do, um, we want the data and we can do bytes from hex and we decode that. And that that's HTML, right? So you can see we've, we've read the page. Um, so the question is, why, when I send it like this, images.hacktables.htb, does it return? But when I put HTTP, HTTP in front, it doesn't. Um, let's jump over into a root shell. We've already solved the box. And we will look at this file that we're hitting. Um, the important part here is we'll say, if the array key exists file URL, then it's going to get that file URL and pass that directly to URL get content. So there's no, it doesn't mess with it at all. That exactly my input is passed on to URL get content. That is defined in this file right here. Go ahead and copy that, get out, get out of here. Oops. And we'll vim that. And we're down here right now at the UR, get URL content. Um, the URL, the input here is passed into parse URL, which is gonna take and get the URL host object out of it. Save that as domain. Then it's gonna call get host by name. So that's gonna resolve the domain to an IP address. Um, and if that IP address is 127.0.0.1, uh, it's going to return unacceptable URL. That, that's what I was getting. Um, we can see real quick if we cat Etsy hosts, um, all of these things, hacks tables, API hack tables, image hack tables, all resolve with the host file to 127.0.0.1. So that makes sense that when I sent it, it was, you know, it, that was a match. It did resolve the uh, domain. It got the IP of localhost, it matched the IP of localhost, and it returned bad. But what's going on with if then? Um, the first test this, I thought, well, let's let's just see if a domain is getting here. So this is the beauty on when you do something like on Hack the Box, you can go in here and just met, once you've rooted it, you can kind of mess with it, right? So what if we just put echo domain um, right there? And we write that there. And we go back to our Python. And now if we go up here and we do, let's see, this is ips. And we run this and we get back the same results, actually. Like um, the echo didn't really do anything. So let's see what happens if we add in the HTTP. If I can type. And it crashes. Now, why is it crashing? It's crashing because you have a JSON decode error. Um, so it's almost like what's coming back is not JSON. So we can do response.txt instead. And you can see what came back is the domain, images.hackstables.gb, before this JSON that then fails to parse because there's extra characters. So what that tells me is when it calls this with no HTTP, domain is empty. And that seems awfully odd, right? So um, we can jump into a, let's see, a PHP minus A here to run a PHP shell. And let's just play with this a little. So what happens if we do echo parse URL on HTTP? Of course, we'll give it the no, you know, the uh, expected state. Uh, hex tables dot It probably doesn't really matter what I put here. We need a semicolon. Um, oh, and we need this PHP URL host. We get the host name. 
So what's interesting is if we take off this, um, if we leave the slash slash, we still get the host name. But when we remove slash slash there and just have a host name, we get nothing. And that is, I'm going to say unexpected. Um, it certainly was unexpected by the author of whoever was writing this box who expected us not to be able to use this. So um, I'm not going to say it's wrong. In fact, we can pull up, see, I'll pull up real quickly the um, PHP parse URL. If we go to this page, let's make this a little, let me make this a little bigger. We go to the pay, man page here. Assume my internet will work. Um, we will see, you know, so the function uh, parses the URL and returns an associative array containing any of uh, various components in the URL that are present. The function is not meant to validate a given URL. It only breaks it up into the parts listed below. Partial and invalid URLs are also accepted, and it tries its best to parse them correctly. So it's trying, but if it comes out wrong, you just get nothing, then you get nothing. Um, so I guess the safe thing to do in this case, if you were, if you really are going to use this to uh, validate user input, would be to check and see that, you know, if get host by name, um, I'm not, do I remember how to do an or in PHP? Or um, we can do get host by name domain equals that. Let's see if that works. Um, so now if we come back here and we put ips in there, we get unacceptable URL. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to check if it's equal to 127.1.0.0.1 or if it's equal to nothing. Um, and there's probably a way to do if is null or something like that in PHP. I just don't have it up that way. So um, with that, I'm going to call this video. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.